Hey there, Brett from Big Star Lights here. Today, I'm gonna guide you through some basics on how to branch wrap a tree. I'm also gonna tell you some techniques that separate a novice from a pro. So let's get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've ran power to my tree already. And for this wrap, I'm gonna start at the base of the trunk. I'm gonna be using five millimeter warm white mini lights. And it's always a good idea to have the power on when you're wrapping a tree. That way, if there's a faulty string, you'll notice if it's out right away. So the biggest design flaw that I see is uneven spacing. Make sure you're taking the time to look at the spacing between each string and adjust the spacing accordingly for the amount of strings you have budgeted for the job. So I've just finished wrapping my trunk and I've come to the first fork in the tree. At this point, I'd like to take a step back and plan my route. I want to figure out which branches I can highlight and which branches I can leave out. I'm trying to envision how the tree is going to look like at nighttime and how to use my lights to accentuate its features. Another design flaw that I often see is crossover of the strings. It makes the job look sloppy, inconsistent, and unprofessional. And now I'm ready to wrap my first branch. But with so many branches to wrap, it's going to be quite difficult using just one line. To help with that, Big Star has a three-tap splitter, so you can split your lines up easily. And now, with our splitter installed, we just attach another string onto one of these three ends and start wrapping a branch. So just like my trunk, I'm keeping my spacing even and consistent. And more often than not, you're going to come across a spur that you're going to want to highlight. Now yes, I could use a splitter like I did before, or I can use the same string to go up that spur, back down it, and continue along my branch. Now, for this method, I'm going to double my spacing. Just like this. And once I reach the end of my spur, I'm going to hook my string around a smaller branch in such a way that when I come back down that spur, my line is actually wrapping in between of what I installed before. This is to prevent any perpendicular crossover between the strings. And then I can continue along my branch just as before. Another standard practice that I always follow is finishing my branch with a Y. It's a really simple design that gives a lot of life to your feature. And at night, the tree actually looks like a tree and not like a bunch of lighted toothpicks. So remember, keep your spacing even, avoid crossing over of the string, and always finish with a Y. If you like this video or want to learn more on how to hang Christmas lights, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel or head on over to BigStarLights.com. See you next time.